Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on Brenda Beattie's Brushstrokes. We're going to paint tulips today. This will make a great card for Mother's Day or any day, and it will also make a great painting. So I hope you'll give it a try. Here is my drawing. Um, this is the uh, this is a card. As you can see, a watercolor card. So I've done a drawing just in pencil, uh, rather soft pencil, which is smudgy, but that's all right. The watercolor will cover it up and I'll erase some of it. So I'm going to do the sky first. And if you want to um, really find out how to do the sky, I have another video called uh, Three Ways to Paint a Cloud or something. I'll put it uh, in the notifications. Before I wet it, I'm going to use this uh, gum eraser to take out to take out most of the graphite from my drawing. I'll leave enough on so that I can still see it. But any loose bits of graphite will be picked up by the eraser and won't interfere with the paint. And I'm going to wet the paper around the flowers. Very carefully, I'm putting the water around the flowers. The paint will flow wherever the paper is wet. Now I'm going to mix some uh, thalo. Beautiful, we love phthalo, but phthalo is very intense, so we'll add some ultramarine to tone it down a bit. I should have uh, possibly taped this to a board because it's going to warp a bit with all the water I've put on it. My sky is uh, dry now and I've taped the, the uh, card down to a board so it doesn't move around. I um, should have done that when I first started out but <laughs> that's the way things go sometimes. So um, I just wanted to say how do we know if the sky is dry? If you very lightly run your hand across it don't hardly touch it. If it's cool it's still wet. And if it's the same temperature as the rest of the page, then uh, it's dry. So what I'm going to do next is uh, decide what colors to do. And I'm using this as a photo reference. It's one of the photos I took of a bunch of tulips. And <laughs> I went to the grocery store and took a whole bunch of pictures of all their tulips last year. So I've got all kinds, even though we can't go there. Oh, well, we can go in the grocery store, but I don't know if they have a lot of tulips at the moment during COVID-19. But in order to get the colors that I want, I tried the different colors that I have in my palette. There's a little cat hair in there. And I have uh, decided with these, uh, because I'm using this as a photo reference, I'm looking for the closest match. So we have Opera Rose up here. This is Windsor and Newton Opera Rose, beautiful, vibrant color, at times too vibrant. So I've also decided to try to see how to tone it down a bit. And I've used Payne's Gray here with it and Davy's Gray here. I've also experimented with the other colors on my palette. If you don't have these exotic Opera Rose, Geranium Lake, Permanent Red, Violet, if you don't have those, you can get some nice pinks with Alizarin Crimson and Ultramarine Blue, Permanent Red and, and Ultramarine Blue. So experiment with the colors that you have. So it is the 8th day of May. 
I just wanted to show you what it's doing outside. This is my balcony. I'm just adjusting. Can you believe it? Look at all that snow. My poor flowers are under that snow. Anyway, we're going to make a pit paint. The first thing I do is take the lightest color. So I will take this geranium lake, make a very light pink with it and just establish my where my flowers are. I've decided that the light will be coming from this direction and I'll actually draw an arrow there so I don't forget. Well, you know, uh, paintings don't look that great when you have the light coming from one end. <laughs> And then another side, so you have a shadow, two shadows going in different directions. Doesn't work very well. Now that I've got my light, lightest colors on, I will look for my darkest. Now I have this beautiful mix already. I'll add a little yellow to it. That's our sky color with ultramarine blue and thalo. So when you mix a color like this, it starts out, it's got your sky colors in it for one thing, and that's good. The, uh, you can just because I made it with the ultramarine blue and yellow, I can add more yellow to make it lighter and I can make more blue to make it darker. And it will always look authentic because of that.
Now I'm going to make a darker green using ultramarine blue and the green I've already mixed. Let's just add a little more ultramarine to it. Ooh, very dark. The lighter uh, areas of the green and the darker areas now I'm just going to put in the mid-tones and we'll be finished. I also waited for this part of the flowers to dry before I could go over them again so I think I'll do that before the green. I want a dark to re redo the dark on this particular flower. I think I'll get a smaller brush. So here's the finished card. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, talk to me in the comments. Thanks everybody and give it a try.